we're going to have a look at the lovely kind of 50s pop art lady now and some of the techniques that we've used to embellish her. So in the kit, you will get a whole selection of fabric swatches that you can use to, to add in and use for the shirt and the hair and, and things like that. If you don't want to use those, you can absolutely use anything you've got in your stash. So you are going to attach some fusible webbing to the back and that comes in the kit. And then you're going to create for the hair lots and lots of little strips in various colours. And initially, you know, some of the yellows do look quite bright, but once you get them all blended in, they'll be absolutely perfect. With those, you are going to do little short strips, both for the, the hair on the top and for the kind of pearl at the front here as well. And once you've got them all on, then you are just going to go over that with uh, some stitching, just a straight stitch and just following the line on the pattern of the hair. For the shirt, you're going to use slightly larger pieces and you want to use all of those coordinating yellows. Now, you can change the colour of a shirt, absolutely. So if you don't want yellow and maybe you want it to be blue or purple, use colours from your own stash, change the colour up. And then, again, straight line stitching, just following the direction that the fabric would be going. So on the collar, we've got it coming down and round the corner here. On these pieces at the back, we've got it coming up and over where the shoulder is. So just follow the direction that the fabric would go. For the headscarf piece here, this has been done really, really simply. There's a piece, uh, quite a large piece of fabric, um, about a 20 centimetre width by about 50 centimetres long, we've started out with for this. Um, this is not included in the bundle, but it's a really nice effect you can get if you want to add a piece of your own fabric. So you start on this side and you stitch the piece of fabric on following the line that is printed on the backing fabric. You then turn over either side and top stitch it in place, top or bottom. When you get up to here, you're then gonna fold all of that excess back and just hang on to it for a second, just pin it out of the way. You're going to take the off cuts from the end and do exactly the same process with each of these kind of um, bunny ear tied ends. You're going to just top stitch one side on, top stitch the other side on, and then just fold and crease the other fabric so it falls nicely. Same with both of those. And then that excess fabric that you had from the first piece that's coming on here, you're going to tuck those ends under and top stitch in like a, a little oval to create the knot on the top. Now, once you've done that, these panels can either be mounted as they are, so you can, you can miss those pockets off if you want and just mount it as it is onto um, an A3 frame. This design here is designed to go fit on an A3 frame. If you want to make it into the wall carrier that it's intended, so you've got more of a, um, a little kind of organizer then you take the flat pieces of the blue and you essentially fold them in half face to face and sew round all three sides leaving a gap at the bottom so you can turn them right side out turn them right side out press that so it closes and then you pin them in place and you are going to sew the three sides again and that will then leave you with little pockets so you've created your organiser. The final step in the Land Guild Pop Art project is to actually mount it up. So I've been to the sewing machine, I've stitched on the pockets and um, you can just mount this round a, any old board uh, but I have actually got one of the Craft Yourself Silly fabric frames here and we're going to use that to mount it. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side and then the larger of the two frames that one's going to go underneath. I'm going to line it up to make sure that I've cleared all of my pockets and all of the bits are sewing on the other side. And then I'm going to push one frame into the other. And then I can just give it a little, give it a little tug, tighten it up all the way around and stick these pieces, excess pieces down either with a, a staple gun or a little bit of masking tape will hold all those in place. And then you have your finished organiser.